Hey everyone, how's it going? We're back, opening some more Silver Tempest. So, as you probably know, I uh, stopped in two Toronto Regionals last weekend. That's because Laura was on staff, which meant Laura got some very, very nice staff stuff, some staff things. That included three boxes. So, spoiler alert, this is the first of three Silver Tempest boxes you have coming up. Good stuff from this set, of course, the alternate arts, which are Lugia, Unknown, Reggie Drago, and... Pass. Uh, we have pulled so far one Lugia and two Unknowns, so... You know what? I mean, another Lugia would never be bad, even if we pulled five of them. Alright, we got Russ Golbat, and a Mao LV. But, obviously, Laura would very, very much like to have a Lugia of her own. And I would very much like a Reggie Drago and as yet unremembered other one. <laughs> Rust Tarakian and a Kabalian. Exciting stuff coming up. I have uh, this weekend, this weekend coming up, I am vending at a Columbus uh, trading card show. So I'll be taking along a lot of our extras and stuff, trying to get rid of some of those. Ooh, character I Persimian from the trainer gallery. Very nice. And a Froslass. So. Hopefully I'll be able to clear out a lot of our extra cards, plus some of our merch from Worlds that we brought back to try and trade, sell, whatever. Pay for some future videos that are coming up. Ooh, Radiant Jirachi. Nice little hit there. And a Miss Magius. If any of you saw my uh, Hills Gaming Black Friday order video, you'll know that I'm throwing some money at this channel. We're getting some videos going, so... <laughs> need to pay for those. But arrest Clink! Ooh, a golden leafy camo poncho. Very nice. We're very early into the box, and we've already had some very nice hits. A nice golden trainer there. I also, in addition to my hills order, have placed a... Uh, won some auctions, which I'm working on trying to get delivered, which should be here hopefully early January. Wow, I can't even get a sentence out, because I'm just hitting hit after hit after hit. Superior V from the Trainer Gallery. Foil tracking to go with it. A another gorgeous-looking card. But let me tell you, once my delivery from this auction house comes through, there's going to be some cool stuff to look at in some videos. Alright, next up. Go reverse Chimako. And a Hisuian Lilligant. Me and Laura actually spent like the last day or two just going through and putting together full lists of everything that we're missing from uh, all of the sets in the Sword and Shield era. I still need to work out variants, but I now at least have a full list of what I'm missing from each set. Russ Rotom, and a Regilecki -like VMAX. I say from every set. Every set except this one, because Laura said, Dan, you're about to just open three boxes. I'm not writing out a huge long list if you're going to cross half it off tomorrow, and fair. Reverse Neuvern, and as I got. Toronto Regionals was pretty great when I was at it. Got a uh, Dark Vaporeon signed by Arita, which you will see if you are following me on Instagram. Put up a nice photo of that there. It was very, very sweet to meet him and uh, get a card signed. Reverse Slurpuff and Omastar V. I think this was a V we have pulled zero copies of. It was Omastar, Lugia, and. A lowland Vulpix we pulled zero regular Vs from, so... Ticked one off the list. I did like the way the queue was managed for Arita's signing, at least. You know, you just put your phone number into it, and they just called you or text you when your time was ready. Reverse Domfan, and a Melodic. So I went in and signed up probably at 1pm on the Friday when we finally arrived, because things happened with our travel, I'll tell you in a minute. And then it was sometime late on the Sunday when I actually got called in. Oh, maybe, well, early, late morning, I guess, on the Sunday it was. It wasn't actually too late. We were a Sunkern and an Articuno. It just uh, feels later because we left early on the Sunday, which I will again tell you about in a moment. Alright, what's next? We have a Reverse Lilligant and a Victini. So, on the way to Toronto, I'd arranged, I was staying with a, me and Laura were staying with a friend who lives in Toronto over the weekend. And so we're leaving on the Friday, 
no on the Thursday after Laura finishes work. And I messaged them, like, hey, I'm getting in around 3. And they were like, 3 a.m.? You never said you were coming in the middle of the night. We, My partner has work tomorrow. You can't just show up at 3 a.m. So me and Laura end up having to get a hotel just once we cross the Canadian border. Reverse Zorora. And okay, I'll do there. Um, so we we got over the Canadian border and then got a hotel like a couple of hours outside of Toronto just to break up the drive a bit. And then carried on in Toronto in the morning, went straight to uh, the convention centre rather than going to my friends and then, then going to the convention centre. Ooh, flaffy character rare. And an incineral. And then the drama with driving on the way back is at about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the Sunday. They were like, hey, there's a huge storm heading to Toronto. Everyone who's driving back, especially those that live in the Midwest, you probably need to leave right now. That's no bat and a cling clang. So we were like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess we're heading out around 2 o'clock then. Um, it was really annoying because I had wanted to watch the England Senegal game, and I was just about to go to the pub to go and watch it when we got that announcement. Reverse regenerative energy and a superior V. We did end up just listening to that game on the radio, and then I, I did get to watch the France game. It's very sad. <laughs> Very depressed for about 24 hours. Whereas a lot of bunny and an Amoongus. I guess now for uh, the rest of the World Cup, I'm cheering for Morocco. Oh, that pack didn't want to open. What we got? Whereas Whalmer and a foil Ariados. Next pack, and this will put us halfway through the box, actually. What do we got? It is reverse Meditite and a Delphox. So first half of the box was okay. We hit a gold card, obviously, which is great, and a V from the Trainer Gallery. But I would like to be seeing some full arts from the main set before too long. We've got reverse Dreepy and an Ariados. Second foil Ariados. Oh, that reminds me. Pokemon cards are hugely changing. I haven't done a video since we got all the announcements with all the crazy changes that are happening in, in uh, Scarlet and Violet. So... Pack Pokemon cards in English are now going to have the silver borders rather than the yellow ones. They're going to match Japan. They're also no longer going to have the set symbols. They're just going to have numbers, which is good because the set symbols, they will have to do so much to stop them just looking like old ones. So, huge changes that I really like. Ooh. Reverse Altari had a full art Wallace. Exactly what I was asking for. Full art from the main set. Very, very nice. One of the other big changes is that... Regular uh, non-foil rares are going away. So f going forward from Skull and Violet. Um, so obviously this won't apply to Crown Zenith, although Crown Zenith might not have non-hollow rares anyway. It's a special set. Anyway, main series sets from Skull and Violet will not have non-hollow rares. All rares will be either hollow or above. And the only non-foils you get in a pack, Rares Baltoy Verizian, are going to be the commons and uncommons. So I think that's a good change. It also said there will be three hollows per pack. I'm assuming that includes the reverse hollow, so it's maybe going to be a reverse hollow and then by default two foil rares, and then either one of those can get bumped up to a higher rarity card. But I guess we'll see. Ooh, breaks in character rare. Very nice one. And an Arcanine. You know, there's really no point doing uh, too much speculation. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens when Scarlet and Violet comes out. What we got? Resuraquinid and a Reuniclus. The uh, lack of speculation thing is also why I haven't made any videos on Lorcana yet, because I do have one promo card for it, and people keep asking me about it, and saying, what do you think? And I'm like, I don't know what I think. They haven't announced any rules or anything for it yet. Rest Chin Chao and a God of War. Uh, that doesn't mean there aren't 10,000 YouTube channels and videos and podcasts and everything talking about Lorcana. Uh, I'm going to wait until we know a little bit more about it before I start making videos and stuff on it. Alright, what we got now? Reverse Holucha and Adele Fox. I really hope this isn't just a single full art box. I guess the Superior counts in Trainer Gallery. I guess I hope for one more full art from the main set. What do we got? We have Reverse Melodic and an Amoongus. Still a uh, good few packs left. Ooh, looks like we've got something here. Reverse Wallace on a Chesnut V. It looked like something a bit more exciting than a regular V. 
I'm filming about four videos in a row tonight, because I have to uh, get prepped because I'm going away for a week. Ooh, Radiant Alakazam, another nice little hit. And a Zero Aura. That kind of stuff is stuff I talk about a little bit more on my, uh, my Patreon, where I talk about behind-the-scenes stuff like that, about <laughs> filming, getting ahead with filming. All that good stuff, if you care at all. Russ Clang! And an Ursaluna V. But basically, the week leading up to Christmas, uh, I will be in a place where I can edit videos, I can post videos, uh, but not in a place where I'm going to be able to film videos. So, I'm going to have to make sure I have enough filmed that I am not leaving you guys without any content for a week, because that would be horrible. Reverse Unidentified Fossil and a Foil Metagross. Alright, still four packs left. I am still holding out hope for another main set full art. We did get a gold, so maybe not. Reverse Krogunk and an Amaldo, but it never hurts to hope. Three packs remaining. Alright, what we got in this one? Reverse Zubat and a Noivern. Second to last pack. What do we got? We have Reverse Curlier and a Braviary. It's going to have to be some last pack luck if we are wanting that second rain set full art from this box. Let's find out. We have got a reverse gym trainer and a Fionn. All right, well, nothing in that last pack, but I'll do a quick recap of what we pulled. All right, I'll start on the trainer gallery. Characterized, we've got Brakeson, Flaffy. And Persimian, and then we got, of course, a gorgeous looking Superior V. Main set Radiant Alkazam, Radiant Jirachi, Superior V, Chesnot V, Omastar V, Mawile V, Ursaluna V, a Regilecki V Max, Full Art Wallace, and Golden Leafy Camo Poncho. Still not too bad of a box, I don't think. We got a gold, we got a full art from the main set, we got a full art from Trainer Gallery. Could be better, could be worse. Who knows, maybe the next one is going to be the banger box. So hopefully you guys do keep watching. Check out some more videos. There's a lot more stuff coming. More Pokemon, more Doctor Who, more... What else have we got? Wars, Dot Hack. All the good stuff that you don't care about because you're only here for Pokemon. I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>